Man, we got some uh, very interesting stuff going on re recently, man. So apparently next month they are going to reactivate the Large Hadron Collider. What the hell is that? What? Yeah. Oh, what? The atom no smashing way. machine. Ooh. So uh -oh. this is what's extremely trippy. So it, this is what will be the end of us. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so what is it? They say that apparently in the future the scientific community to explain reality they're going to have to look at the supernatural. Oh, boy. Yes. So I'm thinking they're talking about other dimensions, other things like that. This so is, this is kind of crazy. What, but what exactly is this device or whatever the hell? What is it this doing? This device is in Sweden. What it does is it basically charges particles like super speed, smashes atoms into one another. Yes. What they want to do is see if they could find the god particle, which is basically like dark matter. Yeah. So the stuff, the stuff that you can't see, the nothingness of the universe that makes up the universe, that is what they're trying to discover and wow. bring to Trippy. Couldn't light. That yeah, couldn't that couldn't that lead to like a black hole or something? I mean, yeah. what if we like well, suck our own planet in because theoretically possible, because they're you know curious about what this thing is? Yes, uh, maybe it could lead to some sort of zombie apocalypse. Who knows when you're dealing with dark matter? Well, it certainly sounds serious. Or know, time travel. I know a That's lot. What I was going to uh, say, uh, scientists are scared of what could possibly happen with all this. Yeah, you always we've we've heard uh, recently Stephen Hawking. You know, he he's always been warning about this sort of thing and yeah. saying hey you know might not want to push it too far <laughs> so, right exactly don't know what you're getting into I so mean, uh, once again it's a device that's it's splitting atoms is that correct it's it's charging these atoms and racing them around a, a big track that's miles long oh, wow. and and basically miles. they smash into these atoms smash into one another creating these little bursts of energy yeah they're trying to smash electrons yeah, yeah. and, and some people say it's even the uh, same thing that started the universe. So that's, Big Bang yeah, theory. they're trying exactly. to recreate the Big Bang yep. is what they're trying to do exactly. in a little mini Why scale. You, what good could come out of recreating the Big Bang? I know, right? This just seems like a it seems like a doomsday yeah. scenario to me. <laughs> but they're playing good. God. I don't and know. This is the conversation we've had for a long time. Of course, you had cloning. You have so many things that people just don't want to mess with because you're you're acting like you're God. This could be the biggest uh, situation yet, or I don't know what it I is. Mean, an experiment, uh, stem cell research, that whole thing too, yeah. with like yeah. creating life, being able to uh, grow back hands and yeah. arms, and and cloning. I That's mean, huge. shit. I but mean, guys, uh, it won't be long until they're cloning humans. I oh, mean, we're talking oh, about sure. like something Robots. that. People are talking about this could be uh, life-threatening or this could endanger a lot of people. The only things that we've had in the past like that, I'm thinking, are like, remember when when it turned the year 2000, everybody was like, oh, Y2K. Y2K. <laughs> and yeah. then we came uh, uh, around to 2012, and people thought something was yeah, going to happen. The Mayan thing. So this is... You know, I think this is one of those scenarios. Well, but th those of you who are new it. to the show, uh, Raspo, he, he's that guy for us that really has his finger on the pulse of the trippy news and <laughs> the stuff like this. Is He brought it to our attention, and this is huge. So I ask you, Raspo, are you worried about this? I have faith in people that the people working there are, are good people. I and that's so. really all you could do, man. I mean, if you're going to sit there and worry about it, you're just going to put stress on yourself. So I'm just thinking live each day to the fullest and yeah. hope that they yeah. know what they're doing. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's not the scientists you got to worry about. It's the guys who are fronting all of it with the cash. Oh, yeah. Those are the ones you got to worry about. So Yeah, yeah dude. I true. think the scientists, yeah, they want to do this to be able to pretty much say they did this. Right. Uh, but come on. Who cares? We don't need... What is it going to help us with? I mean, maybe energy, creating energy. I don't know if it has something to do with that, but Create why? some more new theories. Or some, why, why do you need to know the answers to everything? I don't, I don't understand that. Like, even in religion, everyone wants to know, like, oh, I want to know the answer. I want to know the answer. Just just let it be. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. yeah. Well, the funny thing is that I, I feel like the answers to questions change a lot sometimes. So. Absolutely, <laughs> especially in this situation. Oh, wow. We don't know what the hell's going on. Yeah. Uh, what are some other trippy trends going on today?